Guys, so now I'm going to show you how to make a quest with a uh, requirement. Like, you have to kill five people to complete it. So, first of all, start off by creating an event. Choose your graphic. Um, go with this guy. Alright, so, what you're going to do is, this guy will give you the quest. So, just write something like, uh, and, notice how I put this, this means change the color of the text, so just remember that, it makes it look much better. And that is to return it back. Now, what you're going to do is create an enemy. So, I'll choose him. So, you have to make a variable. Um, just call it enemy killed or something. Make it a, um, a constant of one, and make sure you the add box is ticked. That's the most important. Okay, so when you kill an enemy, the variable the variable will go up by one. the The requirement is five though, so you just make five of these guys. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, now we can do a conditional branch variable enemy is killed um, make it equal to equal to uh, constant of five when that you get you could add say you get 10 gold and um, 10 experience. If you don't, if you don't like get the requirement, say um, go collect my swords for me. All right, so let's try that. Uh, just one thing. Yep. So this is the guy you get your quest from. See how the writing's blue? Oh crap. Got something out. Just add battle processing. Click can escape, choose your monster, and drag um, control variables into if win. Alright, so just delete all these other guys. Let's try that.
Alright. As you can see, once the variable equals to 5, the quest will be complete. Now, if you want to get more complex, then here's a few tips. To make your enemies more realistic, if when, um, the variable will be plus 1, so it looks actually real, just show an animation to like say slash ice and then erase event so when he's killed he'll disappear and if you want an actual visible item that you can actually collect just head to the database here go to items change maximum to just a bit more make a new item so just call it sword a basic sword. Choose your picture. Um, none. Yes. Price. Just make it ten. And once you've done that, reopen the database. Go to enemies. And actually make your own enemy. So call it something like this. Um, there he is. Make him like this, and now, if he, if you just leave him in the enemy section, not nothing, he won't appear. So you have to add him to the troops. So where is he? There he is. There he is. So just call him Bandit. Now. Once you've done that, go back in and see how it says drop item 1 and drop item 2. Choose your um, sword that you made. So now, when you kill one of them, it will, um, you, uh, it will give you a sword instead of nothing. Uh, just change the battle to bandit. Okay. Now, okay, um, so now, once you have completed it, this guy, um, will get, uh, change your, change your swords, because you decrease them by five, otherwise you'd be able to keep redoing the quest and yeah just be infinite experience so let's try that now so this guy gives you the quest two of these guys see sword was found the animation plays and he disappears so even if you click one sword the guy still won't let you complete the quest now obviously you can make your 